Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 21st of 2022. Well, it is titled the Horsehead Nebula in infrared from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is the famous Horsehead Nebula. And you can see the distinctive Horsehead here looking like the knight from a from a chess game. And that is how, of course, it gets its name. It is what we call a molecular cloud or a dark nebula. And it may not look quite so dark as usual here. Usually we see it in relief against the rest of the Orion region. Here we're looking at it, though, instead of visible light where it would appear dark, we're looking at it in the infrared part of the spectrum with imaging from the Hubble Space Telescope. Now, why does it look a little bit different? Well, when we look at light and light has a different diff there are different types of light. Now, generally, when I say light, you tend to think of visible light and the colors of the rainbow red through violet. However, there are also other types of light such as infrared and ultraviolet and x rays and gamma rays and radio waves. So all of these different types make up the complete electromagnetic spectrum. And in all they behave just like the visible light that we are used to. However, they also have some differences to them. And in fact, infrared light being a longer wavelength is better able to penetrate through dust and give us a little bit more of a view as to what is happening inside the Horsehead Nebula. Now, a dark molecular cloud like this is undergoing star formation. So here we see inside a little bit, not completely as we would see with even longer wavelengths. So the longer the wavelength, the better able to penetrate dust. But we can start to get a view on the inside as to what the Horsehead Nebula is like. And in fact, you see that it may not look quite as distinctive with that Horsehead shape as it normally does when we see it in visible light. Again, we have to look at things across the entire spectrum to get a complete picture because many objects don't emit most of their light in the visible part of the spectrum. And in fact, dark dust clouds emit a lot more infrared light and radio waves than they do ordinary visible light. So using those much longer wavelengths can give us a peek into some of these regions that would otherwise be invisible. The same thing occurs with shorter wavelengths of light, things like ultraviolet and x-rays, which have very high energy objects associated with them. And they produce much higher energy radiation and light that we would see then as x-rays, perhaps, or ultraviolet or even gamma rays at the far end of the spectrum. So by studying things across the electromagnetic spectrum, we can get a complete picture of what an object is like. So that was our picture of the day for September 21st of 2022. It was titled the Horsehead Nebula in infrared from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.